if you quit going to church or gave up on prayer or in some other way backed away from this whole God thing because you failed in some really spectacular way or you just don't feel comfortable being around all the good people anymore, you need to know this story. But if you feel pretty confident about where you are spiritually, if you often think, well, at least I didn't fill in the blank with whatever sin you have not committed, then you really need to know this story. Six centuries ago, a Japanese shogun named Ashikaga Yoshimasa unwrapped a carefully packaged bundle, eager to see how the craftsman had mended the cracks in his favorite china bowl. I don't know the exact word Yoshimasa uttered when he saw the results, but it was something akin to the American expression sometimes used to communicate exasperated disbelief. Seriously? They had melded the cracks with crude metal staples, making the repair uglier than the break. So Yoshimasa commissioned some hometown artisans to come up with a more aesthetically pleasing alternative. And they did. They mixed gold dust with ceramic resins to mend the breaks and to highlight rather than hide the cracks. They didn't conceal the imperfections. They celebrated them. The method, called kintsuji, Japanese for golden joinery, became so popular that many artisans believed people were accidentally shattering their pottery so that it could be turned into something even more beautiful than the original. I cried the first time I read that story. And I cried again when my wife gave me a piece of kintsuji pottery for Father's Day a few years ago. Everything changes when you realize that your brokenness can become beautiful. Nothing is ever the same when you learn that the shattered places in your life can become cause for celebration. Maybe you know someone whose life appears to be a vast expanse of unfissured perfection. It isn't. When people talk about them, they say things like, he has it so together. He doesn't, and neither does she. No one, not one single person, makes it through without a chip, crack, or break. You, you might not be able to see their faults, but they have them. Sometimes the fractures are so deep beneath the surface that not even the apparently perfect know they've been broken. Centuries before those creative Japanese artisans figured out a way to make broken things beautiful, God was gathering up the slivers of shattered lives, gracefully mending them, turning messes into masterpieces. He's not surprised that you're broken. He isn't intimidated by the immensity of your failure, and he is not content to let you try to staple yourself back together. Look, perfection is the unicorn of Christian faith. Everybody wants to ride that mythical beast right through the pearly gates, but only one ever has, and he had to go through hell to do it. So stop striving for it. Stop pretending to possess it. Stop envying those who appear to have mastered it. They haven't. Besides, God can do more with your failure than you can do in your finest hour. Not a sermon, just a thought.